Hi, first of all, you know, um, Bobby's done a great job with that program. Tonight they're, they were down three starters, I believe, and then maybe even a fourth guy. Um, three starters for sure that weren't out there. They had to play lineups. I'm sure they've never practiced because uh, they got in foul trouble. And um, so uh, I feel for them. Hopefully they'll get healthy. I do think they have some really good players and will be good down the road. Um, as far as that goes, I, I was really proud of my guys to keep concentrating and trying to do the right things. Uh, we were able to share the minutes. Um, I started a big lineup. Probably wasn't very smart on my part. Went small and then we you know, started to play better. Came back to the big lineup late. We were better in it. But um, you know, we did a lot of things well. We were good against the zone. Um, we were good against the man. We rebounded well. We shared the ball. Um, Dion, of course, and uh, Jared made shots. We were two for 14 the other night from three, so it was good to make some shots. Um, you know, if I'm going to be pick about something, we didn't shoot free throws great. We did the other night. We didn't do it tonight. So, but you know, we continue to dominate on the boards. Um, and we should in that game, but. You know, our guys, I thought, you know, Sean Obi gave us a big lift offensive rebounding in the second half and uh, just, you know, took care of business, did what we had to do. And I think we got better tonight, which is good. John. Uh, given the quick turnaround and also, uh, you know, the, the type of game it was, uh, for, for the guys to play consistent defense for most of the night, is that just – what you've seen from this team throughout the preseason? Yeah, you know, uh, we we practice so hard, and I think it carries over. We play pretty hard in the games. And, um, you know, I think we really locked in about about the 10-minute mark of the first half, probably about the 14-minute mark of the second half. We really locked in defensively and guarded. Um, and you have depth, you can do that. Uh, of course, they were just trying to use clock. They were just trying to get through it. And so put a little pressure on their offense to score late in the shot clock. But um, um, I was proud of that, and we could have easily just looked at the scoreboard and stopped playing, but we didn't do that. We, we continued to play and share the ball and play the right way. Shot good shots, shared the ball, defended, talked on screens, guarded the right way. So it's encouraging, but you know, I, I think this team's got really nice depth, can go a lot of different directions. And the hardest thing for me right now, it could change, is just getting guys enough minutes, you know, so we'll see. Mark, along those lines, are you viewing these games, these early season games, as important opportunities for you to experiment with your lineups and just yeah. figure out your personnel? Because it does seem like you have a lot of different options. Yeah, so I am trying to figure it out. And every night's going to be different. Different guys are going to play well. The good thing is, you know, if you only have four or five good players and they're not playing well, you got trouble. <laughs> and i got a couple guys that aren't playing well I can sub in and, and you know, hopefully we've got a lot of choices, which helps. But, yeah, we are trying to, we are trying to do th some things. I wanted Bruno to get a start just to see what it felt like and probably wasn't the smartest thing uh, to do. But now he's got a start under his belt and we'll help him. Second half, I started a different lineup. So, yeah, we are trying different things. I played uh, Bruno and Sean Obi together. You know, in the second half, we're, we haven't done that a lot in practice, um, but we did it uh, today. And I thought they were better in the second half playing together. So, yeah, we are exper experimenting a little bit. Questions? Coach, over the first two games of the year, Anthony Cowan has actually uh, picked up some rebounds. Do you yeah. think that that just happens to be the way the ball's bouncing, or do you think that's something he's worked on and you've worked on? No, he's worked on it, and you know the point guard never really has anybody to box out because the point guard's always getting back on defense. So Anthony's just going and rebounding, which is what he should do. And if you've watched my teams over the years, which you haven't, you know, um, you know, starting way back at Jacksonville State in my JV team at Kansas, my point guard was always a, a good rebounder for us. You know, Melo would have some big games uh, doing it for us. So. Yeah, that, that was great to see. I think he had eight at halftime. I think he ended up with, did he have nine? I haven't looked. So he had one that bounced to him in the second half. So it's good. I, the last, you know, they shoot a lot of threes. So both games I said guard, a guard should lead us in rebounding. And Justin led us in the first game. And did Anthony lead us today with nine? Okay, yeah. Don, you got a question? Yeah, Mark. Don, Come on, Don. Sorry, In terms of the, in terms of the lineup. Oh, am I okay? Uh, in terms of the lineup, um, you know, as you guys start playing bigger teams, do, do you foresee, you know, meeting Fernando in that role, playing he and Checo together, yeah. and, and, and 
you almost have to let him maybe be the guy to play through his mistakes or play through his you know, inexperience. Yeah, and, we, and we've tried to do that, and he's got to learn a lot from film. And I think he learned a little bit from the first game. We watched some, we watched a lot of film on us today before the game. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to play that loud. There's some really big teams in our league, so I think we'll get used to it. We do it a lot more in practice. You know, we play the big lineups against each other. Uh, we've done it, so we'll, we'll have two scrimmages in practice. We'll do a big lineup scrimmage and we'll do a small lineup scrimmage. So. Yeah, I think we're prepared to, to go either direction. Unfortunately for us right now, we've played two teams where the big guys could shoot it. Now they had a big guy tonight that played on the block, but both big men for Stony Brook could shoot it, and the four man tonight, and then with guards, it makes it a little bit more difficult on you. Josh. Mark, uh, Wiley's provided a spark in back to back games. <clears throat> Is it just confidence with him and being healthy, and what do you kind of envision his role going forward? Yeah, I, I mean, Deion's a good player, guys. He was a top 50 player coming out of high school. He's just had tough breaks, you know, so he's healthy, he's been healthy, he's missed, I think, three or four days with the ankle sprain, um, and I, yeah, I do think it is confidence, too, so um, I just really challenged him to be better defensively tonight than he was in the first game, and I think he really concentrated on that. For us to be the type of team I want to be, deon has got to give us more than just scoring, he's got to re re defend and rebound for us. Um, but no, he's he's a good player. It's good. I'm happy for him. I, I told him, you know, we sat down last week before we tipped it off, and I said, hey, the last two years haven't been any fun, but you got, you're going to remember these last two years more than any of them. So let's let's make the most of them. And uh, he's off to a good start. Last two questions, Kyle, and then Rob. Coach, going back to Anthony, going back to Anthony, just just the way that he's been able to control the pace these past two games. How much has that been different from last season? Obviously, he did a good job last year, but. How's that been different and just the kind of way that you can increase the pace of offense just in a second? Um, yeah, yeah he, um, he's really playing well. I mean, he's defending well, getting some steals out there, he's rebounding. Um, I was, of course, I'm teasing him because he had zero assist in, in there. And I was telling him, I've, that never happened when I, when I played, which I'm sure it did. Um, but um, no, he's been great. He's just so much more comfortable uh, in everything that he's doing. And he's really trying to be an extension of me as far as learning what, what calls we want to run and how we want to run. And uh, he's, he's, been, he's been good. It's good. It's a great start for the season you know, for him. Last question, Roman, please. Mark, I know you guys will go up a weight class on Wednesday night with, with the rebounding. And just, uh, but I guess the first two games, uh, is that something you can point to to say, hey, we're really prioritizing? just being more physical and the rebounding after what happened last year? Yeah, I, I don't know if I've changed the way I coached from last year because I always talk about rebounding, you know, every day with my teams. We just couldn't do it last year. We're just a lot bigger, stronger, more mature team. Um, I think that's really showed. I, you know, I think that Stony Brook, the way we played in that game was pretty, pretty terrific. I mean, playing up there in New York, I think they're a pretty good team. They're hard to guard. I thought we did some really nice things. So. Um, yeah, that's going to be important to us because I do think we can be a great offensive team in time, and I, when we, even against good teams, um, because of our spacing and the players we have. But yeah, it's it's a good start. But we'll we'll get tested this week to see how good we really are defensively. Thank you, coach. Thank Thanks. you, everybody.